In this video I'm going to show you how to add a line of worst fit without having to do it by hand, which should save you quite a bit of time. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the, the column next to your average times, uh, so what you have on the y-axis, and you're going to insert a column. So I've now got a column, a fresh column there. I'm going to call this error line. What we're going to do is we're going to generate some data, some numbers in here, and we're going to force the um, at Excel to produce a new graph or a new line that's going to be our error line. To do that, we're going to manually enter some numbers. Before we do that, though, you need to select your graph, and you'll see that I've got the two columns that my graph is made up of highlighted. You want to take the one for period and simply drag it across to include that column K. And now, when I enter in some values into here, it's going to include those data points onto the, the graph I've got below of period versus square root length. So here, um, I want my error line to start uh, cutting through the y-axis as a positive, and then coming across to the other side of it. So I'm going to pick a number um, that corresponds to the 0.622 so that data point there, uh, a period of 0.622 that's slightly above it. Um, looking at my error, it's 0 0.01, so I'm going to go for 0.63 for starters. And what you can see there, it's put a little orange dot on that line. Then at the other end, um, I'm looking for a point that's going to sit down here somewhere below the, the end point. It's 1.932. I want it below. The error is about 0 0.01, so I'm going to make that point 0.192 uh, for now. And you can see it's put an orange line there. Now, at the moment, looking at that, that's very, very close to the line of best fit. And I think that based on the error bars, I can probably tweak that a little bit and make it a bit more extreme. So I'm going to try and raise that orange dot a bit higher. To do that, I'm going to change this number here. I'm going to make that 0 0.640 and see what happens. OK, I think I can probably go higher than that. Let's go 0.650. And as you can see, I'm just tweaking it until I get it to the right point. That bottom one, I'm going to try and drop that a bit. Uh, so I'm going to make that one point. I'm going to go 1.9. <clears throat> OK, much better. So as you can see now, I've got my two orange dots that correspond to the kind of the extreme um, ends of uh, what the error line might be. Next step is to select the, um, the orange dots, and we want to add a trend line. Just like last time, we're going to choose more options, and we're going to choose linear, and you're going to choose um, to display the equation on the chart. What I'll then do is take that equation, bring it down, and I'm going to copy the same format as the last one. So this is my line of worst fit, so L-O-W-F, and <clears throat> its period is equal to 1.82. 3SF um, square root L plus 0.0719. Fantastic, so now you have the equation for your line of worst fit. Of course, the next step is you have to work out the uncertainty in your gradient and the uncertainty in your y-intercept. As a reminder, the way to do that is uh, you work out the difference between the gradient for your line of best fit and your line of worst fit. That'll give you the uncertainty in the gradient. And to work out the uncertainty in the intercept, the y-intercept, you take the difference between the intercept value for your, uh, your best fit and your worst fit. So same sort of scenario. And that's how you work out the uncertainties. Um, for the gradient and the line of worst fit.